The game really, to me, speaks to that player who wants a truly white knuckle competitive experience. Where they want to really test themselves and bring something up from the ground floor to champion status. Coming from nothing, making something out of yourself. Like if that's part of your personality, if that's something that resonates with you, the kind of player that I think will resonate with the game and experience the building. The vision that we have for the combat, I'm super proud of that. You have this mix of the moment to moment that feel that, you know, the punch lands and you hit and then the person reacts, etc. Mixed with a more tactical and strategic layer of what the parts do at the right moments to use the different family uh, traits that these characters have and how each family plays differently. It scratches a niche that I have as a gamer that I think no other game is, is currently scratching. So something that's a little bit different with the way we've approached the concept of the arena or the Coliseum is in most media, you know, you, you see that as like, you know, who, who competes in the in the arena is like slaves. It's like they, they don't want to be there. It's a dangerous place to be, of course. For our champions, they see it as almost like some type of coming of age story where it's like, very, it's almost like a religious experience for them. It's an honor to fight and pledge themselves to that battle, that rise. We do have RPG elements in there that allow a player to kind of de decide for themselves how they're approaching it. You become a champion, it matters. It makes you larger than life, so to speak. There's a monster that lives in all of us. You know, so behind all of these like larger than life champions and monsters that we have really beats the heart of an individual, of a character. There's little Easter eggs everywhere in the world that map one of our characters that really give them their, their life and their persona and their personality and their origin. And in Champions Ascension, that monster gets to kind of come out. And instead of being told to stay away and stay hidden, it's applauded when it comes out, celebrated, it's cherished. Yeah, so as a smaller studio, like we brought together people that we really respect. And having that smaller team provides us a lot of flexibility. We can do whatever the fuck we want to do. Nobody is gonna tell us no. That's one of the best parts about being a small team, a small studio is creativity actually can live here. This is not a big corporate fuck house where we have to follow rules and do everything by the book. I, I personally got a call from Johnny a, a few years ago. I, I jumped on board that day. Or some members of the team I've worked with uh, for over a decade. That's I think that's one of our strengths of our team. Our team is what I'd like to describe as creatively tenacious. Honestly, like these guys will not stop. If logistically something is too difficult, a lot of teams would just not do it. They would stray away from it. We just go for it. We need to make it happen, and it makes the game awesome. If we feel like it's gonna be awesome for the experience, we fucking make it happen. We all want to make good games. That encompasses everything and every discussion and every difference and every agreement that we have. We all have the same goal, which is we want to make a game that is culturally meaningful, that is something that we would play day in and day out, something that will bring us pride. Every time you play the game, I want you to come away from it thinking, holy shit, did these guys really just allow me to do that in the game? That's fucking awesome where everyone is going on a much more safer route. We're sort of doubling down on that, the sort of experience that we think is underserved currently. When the audience gets what it expects, its mind just can't be blown. I mean, that's not what's gonna happen. You can't surprise anybody. You never play to the gallery. You always, as a creative person, are taught to blow people's minds, to bring something to the table, to take something that they want and then go the extra mile. Players are already helping to shape the world of Messina and the experience, right? Through their gameplay, through their exploits, through their contributions. When champions are crowned in our arena in the experience, there's a certain level of fanfare that goes along with that. We recognize them in the world. They become quote unquote celebrities. And the world will adapt to that and begin to recognize them in a particular way. And I think that's super immersive. It really kind of gets to the heart of what we're trying to do. You build a namesake for yourself and you build a reputation for yourself. It's something that all champions want. I think it's something that really resonates with players as well. We want that feedback. When we put something out there, we want immediate results on like what people think about it. And then we want to take that feedback and we want to really adjust what we're doing to make it more awesome, more entertaining, more exciting for somebody to play. We're going to find our way and we're going to deliver an experience that is unlike anything else. That's what our mission is. That's what our team is passionate about. We hope that you can be passionate about that with us and take the risk to play the game. Here's the good news, guys, right? The game is free to play. So taking a risk, all you're really risking is your time. We're gonna be taking 
all the risks to develop this experience. We're going to be going out of our way to deliver big box excitement to you at every turn, to break the rules, to do things differently, to really excite you. And all we're asking for is for you guys to give us that chance back.